Welcome to Graziella TV. I'm your host, Graziella Barada. This is part three of the Bikini Plan series. By now, you've got two weeks of eating well and working out under your belt, hopefully. In this final episode of the Bikini Plan series, I'm going to share some useful tips and tricks to keep you on track, and we're going to explore some yummy and healthy dessert swaps for your sweet tooth. If you haven't yet signed up for your free diet and fitness email coaching from me, you may still do so at GrazielaTV.com. Glad to have you all back for Bikini Plan Part 3. And let me say now that if you haven't watched Parts 1 and 2 yet, please do, so that you know the whole plan as it was designed. Now, let's get into some tips and tricks that will help you stay on track. We've all been there, on a healthy streak, when BAM! Someone's birthday comes up, and then another, and another, and then there are the holidays, that business luncheon, a fully comp steakhouse dinner, and your waist high in, well, new fat cells. This can be successfully avoided. I mentioned this trick in the holiday episode, but it can be used for any situation. Tip number one, right before attending any festivity, eat a small portion of one of your deliciously healthy meals, like the ones in part two. If you can't have a full meal, have a snack before you go so that you're not filling up on bread, fried stuff, cookies, extra mashed potatoes, and so on. You can certainly have those goodies, but going overboard day after day will wreak havoc on your waistline. Tip number two, keep the bad stuff out of your house. If you're addicted to packaged foods like chips, snack cakes, soda, and munchies of all kinds that are processed foods, the best strategy to not eat them is to not have them around, especially at home. If those living with you don't comply after you've kindly alerted them that the processed foods are not healthy for them either, then kick them out. Just kidding. <laughs> Tell them to store that junk in their secret corner so that you don't know about it. Tip number three, eat smaller, more frequent meals. Doing this keeps cravings and hunger at bay because you're constantly refueling, keeping your energy and metabolism up as well. Try to make a habit of snacking in between breakfast and lunch and between lunch and dinner. You'll be more likely to eat sensibly and less likely to overeat when you sit down for your next full meal. Tip number four, use craving swaps. If there is something naughty that you crave day in and day out, no matter how hard you try, you'll have to find a healthy swap for it. Some of my cravings are salty, crispy, chocolatey, gooey, you name it, I've probably craved it. And so have you. So using a little know-how from the Bikini Plans Part 1 and 2, think up of some creative ways that you can find those fixes in healthy whole foods. Here are some popular craving swaps that I have used. When I'm in the mood for something chocolatey, I whip up some faux chocolate mousse with 7 ounces of Greek yogurt, one tablespoon unsweetened cocoa, one teaspoon vanilla, pinch of salt, and sweeten with stevia. It's absolutely divine. French fries don't have to be fried. Look for the trans fat free oven fries in your grocer's freezer and bake on a cookie sheet with a light coating of canola oil and sprinkle with sea salt. Mm -mm. Cheeseburgers are my weakness. I build my better burger with grass fed ground beef, one side of a whole wheat bun, organic cheddar cheese, lots of onions, lettuce, tomato, and some organic ketchup. For a wholesome but delicious snack, try bruschetta on whole wheat Italian bread with tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, basil, salt, pepper, and a sprinkle of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. This satisfies my salty and crunchy monsters. If you love barbecue like I do, but not all of the fat and calories, marinate a skinless chicken breast in two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce, one tablespoon of water, and some extra spices to make it really flavorful. How about some scrumptious but healthy cookies made with oat flour, which is fiber rich, agave nectar instead of sugar, and one half the butter, replacing the other half with yogurt. 
for one of my favorite sweet and salty fixes, candied walnuts made with spices, butter, vanilla, agave nectar, stevia, and sea salt. Get the full recipe at GrazielaTV.com. Stay tuned for another episode of The Fit Foodie, where I create healthier versions of my favorite foods. Tip number five, eat like the French. Sometimes we want our cake, or our pasta, or fries. Whatever food vice you have, have it. But here's the catch. Let's say for breakfast you want to have a delectable bacon, egg, and cheese souffle from your favorite cafe. You'll want to have an equally delectable grilled chicken salad for lunch and a broiled fish and green beans dinner. Nada más. That's just plain old common sense to me. And I followed this eating style long before I knew the French ate this way. If you want to learn more about the French way of eating, read the book French Women Don't Get Fat by Mireille Julian. Next, we're going to talk fitness and what to do this week and beyond. In the past two weeks, you've had some sample exercises to follow to get you started. The key with fitness is staying consistent. You want to come up with a regular exercise schedule that you follow on a week-to-week -week basis so that there is no guesswork and it becomes part of your normal life routine. It may take a little trial and error to find your groove, but once you have it, it will get easier and easier. Remember, each body is different. What works for me may not work the same way for you and vice versa. Don't make the mistake of guessing what you should be doing to achieve your fitness goals. Be smart and hire a trainer to create a customized workout plan for you so that you can easily follow it on your own. Here are some fitness tips I share with my clients. Number one, work to your muscles point of exhaustion. What that means is when strength training, do repetitions past the burning sensation until you almost can't do any more. And almost is the operative word here. You don't want to work to the point of pain. Burning sensation, tension, okay. Pain, not okay. It's not so hard to figure that out, but when you simply can't do any more repetitions in good form, stop. Number two, give yourself a timeout. After six to eight weeks of training, you'll want to let your body rest and recuperate for a week or two. You can still work out during this period of time, but keep it light and focus on stretching. Just like anything else, you need to give your body a rest and be kind to it, and in turn, it will be kind to you. Number three, keep your fitness options open. When you give yourself a wide range of effective exercise options, it's much easier to stay on track because you won't get bored and actually look forward to your workout. I'm queen of getting bored easily, so I give myself tons of options for workouts, from aerobics and dance to walking routes, boot camps, yoga, pilates, kickboxing, circuit training, and more. The more options you have, the greater your success rate. Number four, speaking of options, you'll want to change up your workout every few weeks as well. Doing the same exact exercises in the same exact sequence will not be as effective after, say, six to eight weeks of doing them. Switch it up and keep your body from hitting a plateau. Number five, push beyond your limitations to reach your next level of fitness. If you continue to do the same things at the same level, your status will remain the same. Be brave and continue to progress with your fitness level and try things you weren't strong enough to do before. You will see the difference in your body. Number six, use tracking and support tools. The internets are vast people and they offer so many free tools. Use them to your advantage to track your diets, workouts, and get support. These are some of my favorite tools. Evernote is a great app where you can have a diet journal to access from any mobile device. BeUnique.net is a great supportive atmosphere where you can find fitness friends and talk to others about your diet and fitness goals. For a virtual coach, meal plans, and countless workout combinations that you can access online, try YouFitClub.com. Thanks so much for watching the Bikini Plan series, and as always, thank you for your messages. I love hearing from each and every one of you. Have a fab week, and I'll see you right back here next week on Graziella TV. Yeah,